Alrighty, here we have six souls being played into the Switch. Uh, this Rubico is actually courtesy of PR Hound. Uh, so we've got uh, settings here. We have music, sound, language, uh, dead zone, vibration, screen shake, and tutorials. I'm right, going to play. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on here. So this game is not very long. It's got um, six chapters in it. Um, I'm on chapter four. It probably takes good maybe two, two or three hours to beat, uh, depending on if you're going for every, or longer, depending on if you're going for every collectible. Um, so here's the main uh, the main map here. Uh, so you're playing as, uh, as a guy that's trying to um, collect souls um, of his... Uh, of his dead relatives, and by collecting each soul, uh, you're provided uh, a uh, uh, either a uh, ability or the ability to dash multiple times. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just do chapter four, the library. So I was can you know where where I was before. So actually no, I'm not. I'm gonna go back to level select. We'll go ahead and start at the beginning here. And we'll do We'll do Actually, yeah. Wait, we'll actually just do level one in here. All right, so you've got the B button to jump. You have the A button to dash. You have the Y button to use your sword. Oh, you have the uh, R button to uh, cling onto walls to read. Um, Read signs, and you have the R button also to utilize your dog Butch. Uh, so you have to use Butch to uh, to gain access to certain areas to get keys, um, and or collectibles. Uh, each screen is a level, so each level isn't. Um, uh, isn't too long. Uh, right now, I have two. I have two souls, uh, so I can I can dash twice. Um, so there are collectibles in usually in each in each stage or each level. Um, you collect the trophies or the coins there for uh, for your character here, and then you've got the uh, you've got bacon pieces to collect for Butch. And then if you unlock, if you beat the story mode, you, uh, you if you sorry, if you beat the classic mode, then you unlock um, uh, adventure mode. Ugh, I keep dying. As you can see, if you die, you end up moving on, or you keep, excuse me, you end up uh, going back to the start of, of the stage. I'm going to just jump up on this. There we go. Most enemies can be avoided just by jumping and dashing, or you can attack if, if you want as well. Um, you use the uh, L button to um, to block. Oh jeez! Come on! There we go. I'm just gonna avoid that spider altogether. So yeah, I mean the, the graphics are great. Um, this is another Bug Studio game. Um, the games are, are really great. <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, I mean they're easy to, to to pick up and play, and like I said, they are a ton ton of fun. Uh, the music fits the game pretty well. I like the music. It's pretty good. Uh, gameplay is addicting. 
Uh, it's it's you know it's it's pretty easy to pick up and play, uh, not too difficult. And oh, you can also use the uh, the ZL button to use binoculars to look up look around the stage, so you can look for a potential hazard or enemy that you can't see um, where you're currently at, which is handy. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this game. So if you guys want to want a really neat and fun uh, platforming game. Um, with uh, quite a bit of collectibles. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, I want to thank uh, Bug Studio uh, and uh, well, Bug Studio for <laughs> for developing this game. It's an awesome game. Uh, Red Like a Studio for publishing it and uh, PR Hound for uh, providing the review code. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.